Now that I've got my ball and my obstacles, I want to start my ball moving. I have to make sure I've got the ball selected. If I've got the backdrop selected, you can see there's a little picture of the backdrop, but I can't put the codes on there. I can't tell the backdrop to move. I'm going to click back on the ball to make sure I've got the ball selected. Now, most of my codes are going to start with an event, which is this one when the green flag is clicked. I want to start with that because that means I click on the green flag to start my game going and everything that comes underneath that will then happen. I want to make the ball move. That's going to be in my motion. So I click on motion and there's my most simple one, move 10 steps. If I do that, if I click on the green flag, the ball will move 10 steps. But I want it to keep moving. So the way to get it to keep doing that is to use a forever loop. In control, here is my forever loop. And that, will, whatever is inside that, will keep going round and round and round. I'm going to put that up, click it up so that the move is inside it. And now when I click on the green flag, it'll just keep going. Right, it's gone off the edge of the screen. So... There's a very handy little one in the motions, which is, if you scroll down, this one, it's a bit of a cheap one because it's more complicated. There's various things going on inside of it. But for now, if we put that into our code, and now the ball will bounce. When it gets to the edge, it's going to keep bouncing. So now I've got my ball moving.